Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another movie review. This time I'm reviewing the documentary The Age of Stupid. Uh, nobody in this film was particularly noteworthy or famous or ren renowned or anything like that. It's just presenting the, the topic of global warming as is. And in, in this day and age, a lot of <coughs> a lot of people have just decided, oh, I'll just sweep it under the, the rug. Nobody will notice, and it'll go away. Uh, I hate to tell you, but it's not going away anytime soon. And... <coughs> A lot of scientists have concluded that uh, what we have done since the Industrial Revolution has definitely had an impact on our planet. And I also think that we're going through an environmental shift as well because we, we went through two big freezes, ice ages, so to speak. And that was just the evolution of the planet and what caused the birth of life, basically. But until we bipeds started walking around, there really wasn't any need for um, consumerism. And I think consumerism is what caused this whole issue to begin with. Um, and greed. But it's just, to be honest with you, I really enjoyed this documentary. I would give it four stars and two thumbs up. Because it's, it's very straightforward. It, it does not sugarcoat the issue. And it just will tell you everything just the way it is. This calls a spade a spade. And uh, I like that approach. I, I didn't want to be given some kind of uh, malarkey explanation that just didn't make any sense whatsoever, because I know better. But if you're, um, if you're intrigued with the whole issue of global warming, then I would definitely recommend this, this uh, DVD and to have other people watch it as well. Maybe if we educate more people, they can make some kind of difference, find find a way to um, at least reduce the emissions that we're making. Well, I know we cannot uh, patch the ozone. There's, there's no possible way. Uh, and there's really no way that we can reduce what we've already done. The, the, the die is cast. <laughs> I don't mean to sound like a fatalist because I, I'm usually an optimist in this case, but all the scientific evidence just lays it on the table right in front of your eyes in, in this exceptional documentary. And it's, uh, it's kind of hard to take, but I look at it in retrospective and just try to learn all I can from it. Uh, I, I do what I can. Granted, I'm not probably <laughs> the uh, the best example because uh, I like to have stuff too, but you know, I don't need all this. I don't need the excess. I don't. I don't ask for much, and I'm I'm happy with what I have. I've got a roof over my head. I've got clothes to wear. I, I could walk and see and talk and cognate <laughs> properly with, without any help or assistance from other people. But this is just kind of a film that I think just is sort of depressing, but it's... it's it is what it is. I, I, I really don't know how else to say it. But it's it's a really terrific documentary nonetheless and well worth looking into. It's it's uh, very well done and, and well directed and 
makes you see both sides of the the coin, so to speak. And I'd like to think that with education, human beings can at least make some sort of difference with uh, the issue at hand. But we have to make do with with what we have. But uh, we've really got to turn off the oil spigot. <laughs> We're way too dependent on that fossil fuel. And just like the, the documentary said, that resource is not renewable and it will run out. So we will have to be making alternate forms of energy, which we should have been using eons ago, but Big Oil wouldn't let us because Big Oil needed the profit and Big Oil equals the government. <gasps> Gasp. Shocker. It really didn't shock me all that much. I thought, oh yeah. Yeah, I knew that all along. That's really no big uh, surprise. But anyway, I'm sorry to get a little preachy there. That's kind of my soapbox, too. I really appreciate the environment, and I, I like to live in harmony with it as much as I possibly can. As I like to remain uh, the connection with my Mother Earth. <laughs> and I believe that Mother Earth should be respected. But, uh, let's see. Uh, I hate to be a fatalist about what we can do about it. I just all I know is that we can we can make a difference if if we get this information out to other people. We we need to continue making documentaries like this for our for our children and our children's children. I'm not sure what the future holds for them, but according to the movie, it's actually not much of a future at all. But if we can get the the word out and give them the the knowledge then they can use this knowledge for the betterment of humanity I believe this is just my my opinion I don't know how any of you other uh, youtubers feel about that but give uh, age of stupid a look over if, if you're not into that kind of thing if you if you don't really have any feelings about the environment one way or the other, then I wouldn't recommend it because it's very preachy and it cuts straight to the heart of the matter. It actually stabs at the heart of the matter. It comes right out and says what it means. But beyond that, I, I really think it's a rather well-made documentary and it's, it's very, very good and expertly made. So check it out if you have a chance.